The zip stop is the best brake available for your zip line. The zip stop uses a self-regulating magnetic braking system to brake zip line participants safely and comfortably. With the ability to brake riders safely at high velocities, the zip stop fills a critical need for zip line operators. The Zip Stop Zip Line Brake is a controlled braking force designed specifically for use in the zip line industry as a primary or emergency arrest device at the end of zip line runs. This video provides an overview of Zip Stop operation and installation concepts. Please refer to the Zip Stop Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual for complete information. The Zip Stop Brake Unit is located at the zip line terminal end, normally adjacent to the landing area. It is mounted using the brake unit mounting bracket. It is connected via a redirection pulley and reduction line system to the zip stop brake trolley. The brake trolley is located on the zip line and when idle, will be positioned at the start of the rider or rest zone. The approaching rider trolley contacts the brake trolley, moving it down the zip line. As the brake trolley moves into the arrest zone, it extends the braking line out of the brake unit via the reduction line. As the braking line extends out of the brake unit, the eddy current brake in the brake unit is activated, controlling the rate of deceleration and slowing the rider in a smooth manner. In a standard 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 configuration, once the load is removed from the brake trolley, the spring return mechanism in the brake unit retracts the braking line, automatically returning the brake trolley to the start of the arrest zone on the zip line. The zip stop brake assembly is designed to be used as part of a complete zip line braking system and can be used for a wide range of zip line installations. The zip stop is suitable for use in both existing and new zip line installations. Setup information provided in this video and in the manual relates only to the zip stop brake assembly. The design, installation, and setup of other components comprising the complete braking system are the responsibility of the installer and or operator. A number of variables will influence the final braking distance and level of rider comfort. Rider arrival speed is unique to each zip line installation and is a factor of the line slope, zip line length, rider weight, rider descent position, wind, and friction. It is necessary to know the acceptable minimum and maximum rider velocities prior to configuring the zip stop. Suitable rider weight ranges will need to be determined by individual zip line operators. The zip stop brake unit will accommodate riders between 33 and 330 pounds, or 15 and 150 kilograms. It is necessary to know the acceptable rider weight range before configuring the zip stop. Reduction line ratio is the most influential factor in the braking characteristics of the zip stop. The reduction ratio is the difference between the brake trolley travel and the braking line extension. The reduction ratio is achieved by passing the reduction line around a series of pulleys. This alters the ratio of brake trolley travel to braking line extension, allowing the installer to tailor the braking distances and deceleration rates and accommodating a wide range of arrival speeds and rider weights. Reduction ratios include 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, and higher. The 1 to 1 reduction ratio directly connects the brake unit to the brake trolley via a single pulley. For every unit of brake trolley travel, the braking line extends an equal distance. Characteristics of the 1 to 1 ratio are suitable for low speeds, strongest braking force, short braking distance, higher rate of rider deceleration, maximum approach speed, of 22 miles per hour or 36 kilometers per hour. The two to one reduction ratio connects the brake unit to the brake trolley via a series of pulleys. With the two to one ratio, the brake trolley travels twice the distance that the braking line extends. Characteristics of the two to one ratio are suitable for medium to high speeds, optimal combination of stopping distance, braking force, and reliability in reset. Longer braking distances than a 1 to 1 setup, overhead support line recommended, maximum approach speed of 36 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour. The zip stop brake assembly can be used with other zip line configurations and higher velocities. Contact your zip stop distributor for more information. Three configurations at the end of the zip line are possible positive line slope, flat line slope, and negative line slope. 
The slope of the line will influence the braking distance, as well as allow the rider to roll slowly up or down the line once decelerated. Positive line slope is the ideal configuration when designing a zip line for use with the zip stop. The positive line slope configuration equalizes the braking distance between heavy and light riders, therefore minimizing the length needed for the arrival platform. On positive line slope installations, the zip stop will decelerate the rider within the arrest zone, but allow the rider to continue to roll slowly forward on completion of braking. Both heavy and lightweight riders will arrive at the same location. On a flat line, participants will decelerate within the arrest zone at the completion of braking, but typically don't roll forward or backward. On negative slope installations, riders will decelerate within the arrest zone and may roll backwards at the completion of braking. System friction and environmental conditions such as wind are other variables that could affect rider speed. A configuration worksheet is provided in the operator manual. Complete this worksheet using the information contained in the braking distance charts also provided in the manual. Always carry out unmanned testing to determine actual braking distance. The information provided in the manual is intended for guidance only. The zip stop brake unit is installed at the end of the zip line, usually on or adjacent to the terminal end. A secondary anchor point is normally required upstream of the landing area to provide support for the reduction line pulleys. The ideal configuration aligns the zip stop brake, redirection pulleys, and brake trolley on a single plane. Please see the installation, operation, and maintenance manual for alternate configuration possibilities. The basic steps to install the brake assembly are identify your primary and secondary anchor points per the instructions in the operator manual. The primary anchor point provides support for the zip stop brake unit. The secondary anchor point provides support for the redirection pulleys, traveler pulley, and hardware used in the reduction line system. Fit the zip stop brake unit into the mounting bracket. The zip stop brake unit may be mounted horizontally or vertically. The mounting bracket is designed for use with a flat or curved surface. Fit the brake trolley. The brake trolley is installed on the zip line and is used to transfer the energy of the rider to the zip stop braking unit. Fit the redirection pulleys and reduction line. The installation of the redirection pulleys and reduction line will vary based on your configuration. Ensure that the reduction lines are routed cleanly and in line through the pulley system to prevent contact with the rider or any surface other than the pulley sheets. Installation tips and safety precautions. Refer to the installation, operation, and maintenance manual for complete information. Always correctly install, maintain, and operate the zip stop brake assembly. Proper design and testing of the complete brake system is always required. Always operate the zip stop brake assembly with an emergency arrest device system active. Always use the correct zip stop brake trolley. Avoid contact between the rider and rider trolley and or brake trolley. Ensure all cables, attachment lines, and pulleys are correctly attached and maintained. Ensure that the brake trolley always resets to the start of the arrest zone and that the zip stop braking line is fully retracted into the brake unit at brake initiation. If problems occur during operation, check the troubleshooting guide provided in the operator manual. Recertification and maintenance. The zip stop brake unit, braking line, brake trolley, reduction lines, and associated pulleys must be inspected on a daily basis for condition and correct operation. Please see the installation, operation, and maintenance manual for complete inspection procedures. Annual recertification is required for the brake unit. The unit must be returned to an authorized service center prior to the next recertification required date on the certification label. For more information on recertification, visit thezipshop.com and select recertification.